Children are guaranteed the right to education in our country. However, children with disabilities who have more specialized education needs are sometimes forgotten. There are only nine schools for children with autism in the entire country. We'll be joined in the studio by Jill Stacey, the National Director of Autism South Africa, to tell us more about this. But first, let's take a look at this insert produced by Fatima Simji of Health E! News. It looks at the challenges faced by a school for autistic children in Johannesburg. This is the Johannesburg Hospital Children's Disability Centre, one of very few schools in the country which caters for autistic children. According to recent statistics, one in every 110 children in South Africa is born with autism. Autism is an invisible disability. People very often judge children with autism as being naughty or as being defiant and it's not. It's because they have that inability to understand social rules that we very often just accept. People with autism have difficulty interacting with others and communicating. Their senses are sometimes impaired and they have a rigid way of thinking. Children who don't have autism can develop simple basic skills that allow them to learn, like the ability to sit, listen or focus their attention. Children with autism don't have these skills as part of, of their development. These are skills that have to be taught directly to children with autism before they can start formal learning. Daddy. Daddy. Daddy! Daddy! It is extremely important um, that these kids receive early intervention. Um, we believe that we can start at the age of three and that it makes a significant difference to start teaching these skills to our children. However, some of these children may never be able to read, write or communicate. But here they can learn everyday skills that will give them a certain level of independence. And for them and their families, these small, simple achievements can change their lives. We want our kids to be functional. We want them to learn skills that has meaning. A child that is able to write, but that is not yet able to bath themselves, doesn't really make sense. You don't want to bath an 18-year-old. So we focus on everyday life skills. We teach them to dress and undress to wash their hands, to use the toilet. We teach them these skills that we all take for granted. Unfortunately, autism is an expensive disability to overcome. One autistic child needs the same amount of attention as six neurotypical or normal children. Children with autism requires a whole lot more attention, a lot more specific intervention. And one autistic child is equal to six neurotypical children. So in effect, a class that has eight autistic kids, the teacher is working with 48 neurotypical kids. And that is costly. Our biggest expense is in terms of having enough people to work with our kids in these small groups. These children are the lucky ones. Most can't get into a school like this. An estimated 135,000 autistic children in South Africa aren't getting the specialized education they need. A lot of these kids are kept at home, are hidden away from society, and that they don't benefit at all, that parents are frustrated, that families don't know what to do, where to go. I believe that every child has the right to an education and it should be no different for children with autism um, and that is something that we desperately need in our country. Bye. Bye -bye. All right, we're now joined by Jill Stacey, the National Director of Autism South Africa, to address the social challenges autistic children experience in their daily lives. Jill, thank you so much for joining us. Welcome, welcome to Morning Live. T tell us a little bit more about autism. What are the symptoms to look out for? Uh, you know, how, when do you know that your child is autistic? Um, I think mainly it starts manifesting about, well, overtly manifesting about 18 months. In hindsight, when parents look back, they can see some issues 
that were there before. Um, but it tends to be sort of often delayed speech. Um, eye contact, lack of eye contact can, can be present. Lack of shared interest is, is a very um, red flag for autism, that when you show a child something, they're not following your gaze, they're not following your point, yes. you know, mm -hmm. when you're pointing at something. Um, inappropriate play with toys, um, sort of like instead of taking a car and uh, driving it around a play mat, they may just line up the cars. Um, but how it can manifest, it is, it is, there is a very strict criteria for a diagnosis called the triad of impairments, um, but there's a massive range. They now talk about it as autism spectrum disorder. Yeah, yeah. Um, so how it can present is very, can be very vast. Very vast. So, so when you're saying that this may manifest itself from, from very, very early and parents will look back on the kid and sort of think, you know, well, we did pick up something was wrong, but not necessarily. We didn't think that that really was a problem. It was just yeah. developmental stages. Yeah. But is it preventable? Is autism pre preventable in any way? Well, at this point, they don't particularly know the cause. Um, they believe it's a, had, there's a genetic predisposition. They believe that there's a minimum of six, seven genes involved with different environmental factors. Um, so if, you're not, if you don't know the genetic markers, you don't know really how to prevent it because you don't know what, what's going to trigger it. Yeah. So at mm. this point, uh, in the research, no. Nobody really knows. So it's not, it's not something that's genetic. It's not something that perhaps is, it's already there and it'll come down the family history and, you know, you they may They do just believe, it. yes, there is a genetic There's a genetic position. link. Yes. All right, to that. If a child is autistic, um, access to education, is it, is it good in South Africa? Sadly, no. Yeah. Um, if you look at our population, we would say, and, and the incidence of autism, we'd say there's about 135 thousand children in our country with autism and at this point um, there's 600 odd in autism meant specific education um, yes there is a move towards inclusive education but the result of autism is that the brain processing is very different so you have to actually educate in a specific way so we've got 0.01% of children with autism are in beneficial education. Sure. It's, that's... it's a massive issue. And, and I imagine it's not exactly in every province in South Africa that you have access to this. No, unfortunately only four of the, school, uh, four of the provinces at present have schools for children with autism. Mm. Um, but as Autism South Africa, what we're trying to do is work with special needs schools in all the provinces because they are taking in children with autism um, but they don't necessarily ha know how to educate a child with autism so that's what we're trying to do is to work with those special schools uplift the, the staff skills mm. to educate children with autism and that will increase the accessibility for people for uh, autism education just a, a rough sort of estimate, or I, I imagine as Autism South Africa, you'll know how many children in South Africa are actually autistic. That's what I say. I think it's about, we, we reckon, they consider it's one in 110 children have uh, autism. Yeah, yeah. Which means if we look at our population, our birth rate, rate every hour, a child is being born that will have autism. Yeah. It's so phenomenal. something really needs to be done. I mean, we've Massive, got a lot yeah. of children we need to cater for. Yeah. Um, what should parents with autistic children do if they cannot enroll their children in autistic schools, like you're saying? I mean, we've got uh, four provinces that have access to it, but we've nine provinces in South Africa. What do you do? Um, like I said, we encourage parents to go to special needs schools, the closest one to them. Um, ask whether they take in children with autism. If they say no, ask why. Yeah. Um, and then... If, if, the, if the school is willing to take the child and we say, go to the principal, ask them to contact Autism South Africa, we will send a, a trainer to that school to work with the staff. We receive sponsorship. Um, Toys R Us are helping us, lottery board, so that we don't actually ask the parents to, or the schools to pay for the training. We offer it to help the children. Good. Failing that, um, I think learning as much as they can about autism, contacting us to send information yeah. so that you can start to understand how the autistic brain is working. All right. Well, we've run out of time. I know there's so much to talk about, but uh, if you want more information, what you must do is visit the website www.autismsouthafrica.org. All the information is there. And uh, as Jill was saying, if you, your kid is autistic, uh, and uh, you're looking for a school, just get hold of them and perhaps they can assist in some way. Thank you very much for joining us on the program. Jill Stacey, the National Director of Autism SA. Let's take a quick break. When we return, 
the box, the performance. Hasn't been too good lately, but hopefully tomorrow things will turn around. Let's have a chat to the box, stay tuned. Sing ons vir jylle. Waarvoor is vingers en voete? Hou my! Nou beskipbaar. Doe my so, what are you doing? I'm coloring a picture for my Tiba Spotted. Did you know my Diva turns 92 this July? Yes! Oh yes! He wants us to do something good for 67 minutes. Oh!